Hey everybody, welcome to All Things Overlanding. On this week's 3 Minute Thursday, I'm going to be talking about something that is pretty specific to cold weather climates, but it is also something that I did not realize existed before maybe a month ago, and now that I've figured it out, I am in heaven. Like, it's one of the best things I've ever found. I've actually bought three of them, um, three different ones just to test them out, and they are all awesome. They're all similar. Um, the one I'm going to show you is my favorite, but I'll put links to all three of them down below. What I'm going to be talking about today will make you feel so much more comfortable when you're out in, you know, freezing temperatures. It is an electric hand warmer. Um, there are other uses for this too that I'll talk about when we get into the video, but if you want to learn more about this thing, stay tuned. It's awesome. All right, guys, so as I mentioned on today's Three Minute Thursday, I'm gonna be talking about electric hand warmers. Um, like I mentioned, I've got three different ones of these. They're all very similar in design. They're all very similar in price. They're actually pretty inexpensive, around 20-ish bucks, um, give or take. The other cool thing about these, pretty much every one that I've got is, they also function as a power bank, which if you guys know me and have watched some of my videos before, I have a million power banks. I have my solar panel and my battery in the back too, so I'm. I'm pretty well set with uh, power banks, so I don't really use them for that, but you could if you wanted to. If you were trying to, again, reduce gear, right, like we've talked about before, and not have so much gear on you all the time, you could use this in the winter as a, as a hand warmer, and in the summer you could use it as a power bank, and then you don't have to carry around a bunch of different stuff. Um, this one, I think, is around 6,000, 7,000 uh, milliamp hours. So I'll put, like I said, a link down below in the description of this. Um, there are some that range from like four to 7,000. So they're relatively good size batteries and they last for, I think they say, um, and I'll put it on the screen here cause I'm just making this up like four to six hours, I think at high. Um, so I'll verify that and I'll post it on the screen here, the real number anyways. Um, so basically what these things are is, so if you hold the button for a few seconds, it'll come on as red and then it's got three little LEDs here. So one light is the lowest setting. Hit it again, two lights light up, middle setting, hit it again, three lights. That's your hottest setting. Now, I can tell you it's already starting to heat up. So I can already feel this thing starting to heat up. But the idea is both sides, these black sort of textured areas are heating elements underneath of them. So you can hold it in your hands. Again, I have three of them, so I put like one in each pocket. When I go to sleep at night in my sleeping bag, I just sort of toss them in there, sort of like chemical uh, hot hands, hand warmers, um, which is what I used to buy. I used to just buy the hot hands hand warmers all the time because they're great and you can toss them in a sleeping bag, you can keep them in your pocket, you can throw them down in your shoes if your feet are freezing. Um, that's the only thing that the hot hands have over this maybe is that they're a little bit smaller and thinner. So if you do keep them in your shoes or your boots and you're, you're trying to keep your feet warm, you may still wanna have some chemical hot hands for that. But otherwise, these things are amazing. And I just love the fact that they're rechargeable and especially with my solar panel, that I can just keep these things topped off in the back of my truck and, and whenever I need them, then I just unplug them and pop them out. And I've got basically free unlimited hand warmers, if you will. So again, it's nice to just have rechargeable things that you can toss in a sleeping bag and stay warm or keep in your pocket. I give these to my kids when we go camping because they're always cold in the winter and they'll just kind of keep their hands in their pockets with one of these things and they love it. So it changes up their, their attitudes. It makes things better for them, makes things better for me. Um, again, they're pretty inexpensive. There are a variety of these. Um, if you're looking to buy one of these, definitely go down to the description, check out the links down there. They are affiliates links. So if you happen to click on one, then I get a couple cents from each one. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but just helps me out. Um, so definitely if you're interested in these, check out those links below. Um, I'll kind of put the differences between each one too. So, you know, how big is the battery in it? How big is the physical size of the thing? So you guys can make a good decision on which one you want to get for yourself. But um, again, hopefully that's helpful. These things are awesome. I highly recommend them. Now I just want to kind of go cuddle up with it and hold it. Um, oh, it's so nice. So anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Now that I've made it weird, if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell down below to be notified when I drop new videos. I drop at least a couple videos a week talking about gear reviews, vehicle modifications. Um, I drive an Xterra, so there's a lot of Xterra content do-it-yourself stuff, like I did a do-it-yourself drawer system and solar system, and I'm getting ready to do a do-it-yourself rooftop tent. So if you're interested in projects, vehicle mods, gear reviews, 
And then I also do a vlog slash podcast every week, too, just talking about overlanding camping topics. Um, so if you're interested in that stuff, please subscribe. I'd love to have you guys as subscribers. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, have a good rest of your week. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care.